Good morning, folks, and welcome. My name is Brahim Kone. I am the Secretary of Treasurer of SEIU Local 26, the union of over 8,000 property service workers across the Twin City. Today we are here at the MSP airport to lift up a new report about the need for action from the people in power here at the MSP to make sure essential frontline workers have affordable health care that makes sure our families can be healthy. We are also here today pushing for our elected officials in Washington, D.C. to pass the Good Job, Good Airport Act to make sure all the, the jobs at the airports across the country are good jobs. Airport workers from the curb to the cabin are speaking out demanding good job that protect, respect, and pay the workers who are risking so much, especially during COVID, to keep this airport running. We have seen airline having skyrocketing profit while the majority black and brown immigrants are still struggling to get by. I want to lift up a few findings from the report released today titled Healthcare Equity in Other Airport Delay. So the findings, 82% of respondents to a survey here at the MSP say that they get health care from various government programs. Most workers here at the MSP will no longer qualify because now they make $15 an hour. Airlines got $49 billion in bailout money from the government. And we need to make sure workers would do this job on the front line, have health care they can afford. Just like running the $15 minimum wage, we are going to push the MAC commissioners will run the airport to make sure they fix this issue and ensure that the workers will do this amazing work, helping to win this airport or its award of health care that allow us to care for our family. I am so excited to be joined by few airport workers and supporters who are here to represent all the airport workers in this fight. Along with our own representative Ilhan Omar and Commissioner Lely Fata, who are here to support the majority black and brown workforce. Next, we will hear from few folks why this fight is important to them. First up, I want to call Mumudin and Kadisha from SEIU Local 26. Hi, my name is Mumudin and I have worked here four years. 
Every day I come here to make sure to make sure this airboat can run. During coffee night, coffee, we come here every day as a thing as normal. But we are so worried. What can we do? We could. Sorry. What can? Okay, sorry. What can we do? We have to do our job to feed ourselves and our people. Anytime someone cough or get a little sick, we are so scared. Many of us get the health insurance from the government. Well, because what they offer us employer is too much for us to afford. As, as our wage finally increase, we are facing a situation where this affordable health care is go away. We go away. Most of us can affordable health insurance over us by employee. We help this airport running, run, and we we know that so many people are making billions of dollars. The work can happen in here. So we should. We think we should. We rule be everyone worker for at MSP has affordable health insurance to take care of our family. We call on the MAC to pass their policy like the way it did 15, 15, 15 minimum wage to make sure workers like me have, have health care so be, be <coughs> the health care that will be around us for every let us be able to care our family. Thank you. Thank you, Mumudin. Mumudin basically asking for health care for all the workers so they can afford and take care of their family. So now, Khadija. My name is Khadija Zell. I'm working in. Okay. My name is Khadija Zell. I'm working at the airport from 2018. Right now, I need the health care from I got the health care from the government. I had to pay like a hundred and eighty dollar a month because from the employee. That means if I didn't get the health care for me and my family, it would be too hard for me to pay because I help my family back home. And $15 is not enough for me. I can afford it to pay the insurance. So with the help, we need the affordable health insurance for us. Secondly, I'm a sick person. I have a diabetes. I have a high blood pressure. So if I don't have health insurance, it's not going to be good for me. So I will lose everything. So I hope the government or MFC can help us to have affordable insurance for all of us. May God bless you guys, and may God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Khadija. <laughs> Affordable health care for all the workers. So next, we're going to hear from the president of United here, a union of 1,000 members here at the airport. Krista. Morning. Um, my name is uh, Krista Sarak. I'm the president of Unite Here Local 17. Um, we cover about 1,500 uh, food service workers out here at the airport. 
Um, we're out here because we think that our workers, along with all of the other workers at the airport, deserve affordable health care. There should be no reason when there's record profits for the airlines that our workers are worried about how they are going to pay for their doctors or having to come into work sick because they can't afford to go to the doctor. These are the people that are uh, serving the people at the airport, making the experience at MSP Airport great, and there should be no reason that they ever have to worry about paying for their health care. So we'll stand in solidarity with all workers out here and fight until we can have affordable health care for all workers at MSP Airport. Thank you. Thank you, Krista. We cannot get this done without the commissioners here at the airport. So it is so important that they uh, get on board and help us. Luckily enough, we have a commissioner who is supporting this and want affordable health care for the people here at the MSP. So, Leila, there she is. Hey, here she go. We have a commissioner here. Thank you so much. My name is Laylee Fadahi. I serve on the Metropolitan's Airports Commission representing the city of Minneapolis. And I'm proud and honored to stand here today with the workers that make MSP Airport the award-winning world-class airports that we at the MAC and here in our region are so proud to have. Through two years of a global pandemic, our workers have kept our airport running and our passengers safe. One of the things I'm most proud of for my tenure on the MAC is passing our $15 minimum wage ordinance that gets us one step closer towards ensuring that our workers at the airport learn, uh, earn a living wage. But our work is not done and I am committed and looking forward to continuing to work together to find ways to make sure that our workers also have access to the quality, affordable health care that they need to care for themselves and to care for their families. And I'm so appreciative of my congressperson, Representative Ilhan Omar, for sponsoring the Good Jobs for Good Airports Act. This important piece of federal legislation will help to improve the fairness of wages and benefits for workers at federally funded airports across the country, which is something we here at the MAC knows translates into better airport service. And I hope more members of our Minnesota delegation join Representative Omar as sponsors on this important bill. And while I'm optimistic that we will continue to see momentum at the federal level on this bill, we here at the MAC can and must do everything that is within our power to address the gaps and disparities that persist in the wages and benefits of our workforce, majority of whom are people of color or immigrants. And that is why I am committed to continuing to work with the groups that are here today to find solutions to meeting the needs of our workforce, including affordable health care. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you. We want commissioner that just don't talk to talk, but put actions into motion. So thank you so much. So now we have Saeed from Navigator. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Saeed Ali. I'm with an organization called African Community Senior Services, a Navigator organization that works mostly with East African uh, immigrant communities here in the Minneapolis and St. Paul area. I have also worked here at Minneapolis Airport 12 years ago as the United Airlines ticket agent. I have been, um, I've, uh, I've been within the community working health insurance and health care for a long time and I've witnessed firsthand that with the increases of the minimum wage this year that many in the airport will be losing their health insurance through the state and they won't be able to afford the health care that is uh, private that's provided by their health uh, by their employer so through the employers those are, will be costly so I'm here today as a community member that um, the airport employees need more access to health care affordable health care now more than ever before because of the cost of living going up rent going up and everything else going up they can't afford to pay a private insurance which has high deductible and high premium 
and uh, I'm here today to witness that and uh, contribute to my uh, experience. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Omar worked with Minnesotans to get things done, especially when it comes to people of color, black and brown. And this is no different. She's here again showing her support and leading the fight for affordable health care here at the MSP. Welcome our own Representative Ilhan Omar. Thank you so much. Uh, it is really exciting and an honor uh, to be here with my SEIU siblings and Unite Here siblings. Um, we know that for the last two years we have been saying essential workers uh, should be celebrated as heroes. They have kept our economy going, they've kept businesses going, they've kept this airport running uh, and helped us get to where we need to be. Uh, and it's imperative that we don't just say thank you, but we thank them with benefits, um, with wages, uh, and labor standards that go along with that. And so I am uh, really excited to be able to join my colleague, Chuy Garcia, uh, in co-sponsoring the Good Jobs for Good Airports Act. Uh, this is a really critical legislation that is important uh, in trying to make sure uh, airport workers throughout this country have, uh, uh, are being paid a livable wage, uh, that they are making, um, that they're getting dignified benefits uh, and that they are able to work uh, in a workplace that has good labor standards. Um, I am delighted to, to know uh, time and time again uh, that we have Representative Laley from MAC uh, standing here to try to make sure to uplift the workers here um, and, and supporting them. Um, I was um, uh, you know, in, in the fight with a lot of the airport workers when they were fighting to get a $15 minimum wage. Um, and I know that Mac uh, was, was supportive of that. Um, we have been here when we were fighting against the government shutdown to try to make sure um, everyone was still being paid. Uh, and now I am here again trying to push legislation across the country to try to make sure um, that we have these standards. Uh, and so um, you can always count on me, uh, and I'm really excited to continue to push for this legislation and hopefully get it across the finish line. Thank you all. Thank you. We always talk about Minnesota nice, and Minnesota nice cannot be one-sided. Minnesota and I should take into account all the workers, regardless of their background and, and where they come from. So thank you. Thank you to all the speakers. And uh, thank you to everybody who came. This is a beginning of a long fight. We are in this to win it. And we need the support of all the commissioners. We need the support for the government officials and we need all on board to win this. So thank you. Members so far get the healthcare through government program. I don't know. Oh, sorry. So, uh, most of our members here at the MSP get the healthcare benefit fit through our government program. So, uh, I don't know the closing and the opening date for those. That's uh, the, uh, uh, the program they're using now. Um, beside that, uh, there's no healthcare uh, provided by the companies. If you want to know the, I mean, the opening and closing period, I'm not sure. 
why is it important to put pressure on Mac rather than the actual employer because they have to contact you as well? It's a little different here at the airport. Uh, the Mac are uh, the one basically setting uh, like the wages and uh, the you know the benefits of these members. So it is important that you know they are the one leading this fight to get this done for our members to get affordable health care.